All right, guys, so this is the Yeba K2S. It's the latest release of a brand new projector. I reviewed a couple of Yeba projectors in the past, which I'll also link in the description. They had really good engagement, so I thought, why not try their latest projector, the K2S? You can see here, this can project all the way up to 200 inches, but I'm going to be projecting it around the 100 to 120 inch mark. Before we get started, take a look at the description for the latest pricing information with the link down below and all of the key information and specifications as well as any discount codes. So let's start off with the unboxing. Okay, so in the box you get this accessories package which comes with a HDMI cable, an AV splitter cable and a standard remote control. You also get a little packet with some instructions and some cleaning equipment and the power plug. We'll go over the design of the projector in a second, which I think actually looks really nice. But else in the box, you'll notice you get the Heiko Mini Android TV dongle, which is compatible with this projector. But one thing to note, the dongle is already pre-installed in the projector, so you don't need to connect anything else. But this actually comes with this dedicated remote as well. So you can actually use this rather than the standard one. So this one, you'll notice it comes with YouTube, Netflix, and Google Play dedicated buttons. One thing I really like about this projector is the Netflix option. If you're not aware, Netflix don't provide licenses to around maybe 90% of projectors online. So the ones that do are very lucky to be honest and they work very, very well as a native application. So you don't need to find any third party workaround to try and download Netflix, which I've done in the past, which doesn't work that great. So that is a huge win. Then you also have a little packet called Brand Kit, which comes with the quick start guide and some warranty information. So now let's take a look at the design of the projector. You'll notice from the front, it has a lens cap, which if you take off, there you see, very easy to put on and off. Then you'll notice that the sound and speakers in this system are by JBL. JBL are a very premium audio company, so I'm really excited to test out the audio quality. But make sure you try and listen to this video when I showcase the demos with some headphones to get the clearest clarity on how the audio sounds. We'll also be testing out the fan noise as well to see how loud or how silent that may be. So on the top of the projector, you have yourself the Yeba logo. Just underneath the projector, you have this little push kickstand so you can elevate it to a certain height. Now you'll notice this has NFC here, which is really convenient because you can actually now screencast directly to the projector using NFC on your phone. You've got a music button, sleep button, volume buttons here and the power button there. Ports on the back, you have one HDMI port, one USB, one USB-C, a headphone and the AV port there. So you don't have an extensive set of ports at the back, which some projectors may have, but nonetheless, this will give you everything you need to get going and start enjoying your Android TV. So now that's everything in the box and the design of the projector. Let's go ahead and set it up, go through the Android TV, see how that looks, go through the settings and give you a video and audio sample. Okay. As the projector is now starting up and it's going to go through the autofocus and auto keystone correction initially, let's take a look at some of the key specifications of what comes in this projector. Now you'll see from the screenshot, this is 1080p native resolution. The brightness actually goes up to 800 ANSI lumens, which is actually one of the highest and probably the highest of the Yeba catalog. Now, I think this is a really nice thing to have, especially when you do have autofocus and auto keystone. It just makes things moving around a lot easier. Now, we're going to test out the audio. As you can see, this has JBL 10 watt speakers in there, two of them. So you've got 20 watts of power. This also has Dolby Audio, Wi-Fi 6 and bi-directional Bluetooth 5.0. And as you can see, like I mentioned, it is Netflix ready. So we will be testing that out. One thing I also like is that this is compatible with Alexa voice control. So you can do various commands to open up apps, turn it on and off and things like that. And the standard retail price of this is $499. But do check the description for any discount codes so you guys can get it a little bit cheaper than everyone else. Okay, so now that I've powered on the projector, one thing to mention is that you do need to use the Yeba remote control to go through the standard settings, maybe do screencast and go to any other the Bluetooth connection settings and Wi-Fi settings, then you need to use that. But then you also need to use the Android TV remote once you do open one of the dedicated apps. And we'll go into Android TV in a second, which is the first option listed there on the standard OS on the Yeba K2S. So if you go into settings, you can find your network for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can connect it to headphones, soundbars, things like that. Signal source, 
projection, you can change the projection mode. Here, if you go there, you can set it to various different angles. So if you want to mount it on the ceiling, then you also have that option. Projection settings. This is where you can turn auto focus and keystone off and just do it manually if you'd like. You also have the option for zooming the screen. So if you wanted to maybe zoom out, then you can also go down to certain lengths to fit your wall or your screen, however you wish. I'm going to keep it at 100%. Just by doing that, the keystone has gone off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go back and do auto keystone. And to do that, I'll press the focusing on the remote control. And I can make some adjustments with the keystone once it's done its auto. And there you go. I think that is perfectly straight. So this is being projected around 110 inches which I think is good for my screen. There's a lot of daylight coming into this room. And one thing I wanted to mention is that with the 800 ANSI lumens, this is actually very clear. So imagine how it's going to be once I do black out the room, close all the shutters and the windows, you'll see the difference when I play some of the demo videos. You also have an option for theme. You can actually select your background wallpaper, which I think is quite nice. Let's go ahead and change this to one of these other options. There you go. Screensaver, quiet mode, Bluetooth speaker. You also have Android and iOS Wi-Fi mirroring. And then you also have a user guide there at the end. You can also go into file manager. So if you connect a USB, you can play back files, photos, videos, documents, music, etc. And then if you wanted to use this for work purposes, then you can also transfer documents and play back maybe PowerPoint presentations and things like that. Let's go ahead to Android TV. And this is where I will be switching over to the Android TV remote control. Before we jump into Android TV, let me pair the remote control to enable voice search using these steps. Okay, so now we've gone through the setup, connected to Wi-Fi, and this is the Android TV setup. Now, you can see everything as expected with most Android TV versions. It's very smooth, it's very responsive, especially with the remote control. You can go ahead and download more apps and add them to your favorites. Of course, Netflix and YouTube are there by default because they have the dedicated buttons on the remote control. You can also pin Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, Prime Video, and whichever ones you like. Let me just go ahead and show you Netflix as a native app with their license agreement with the Yeba projectors. So you can see here, it's absolutely just like you would use on your TV and you can play any of these shows, movies, as you would on your standard TV or even on your phone. This is one of the things that I've always been disappointed with a lot of projectors where they don't have a license to have a dedicated Netflix app. Of course, if you do go to Amazon and you search for Netflix licensed projectors, you will come up with very few options, but the Yeba K2S, I'm really glad that this comes with it because this will actually allow me to watch everything that I do like to watch and a lot of that comes from Netflix. So let's go ahead and jump into some demo videos that I'm gonna play from YouTube. And I'll start off with a video sample and then we'll go into listening to the audio samples first. Now you can see the video quality is quite clear, especially with a lot of daylight coming into this room. Once I do turn off all of the light sources and make it black out, you will see the difference in here. But this is just to showcase to you guys how clear this actually looks. If you do want to use this projector, maybe during the daytime, you have a window where there is a lot of sunlight coming in. This actually is very watchable. It doesn't wash it out that much. If you wanted to take it further and if you have maybe an ALR screen, just imagine how great this would also look with that. And let's go ahead and now close all of the shutters, make sure it's complete blackout and see how clear this actually looks with some of these video demos. There you go, close all the shutters. Now you can see the clarity and the sharpness in this video. I am really impressed with the quality on this. This actually is very close to one of the more lower end laser projectors, which give you a lot more anti-lumens of brightness and clarity. 
the color vibrancy on this, the contrast ratio. I think, you know, this is perfect for anyone that is on the market for a high quality premium projector, but don't want to go into maybe the thousands to spend something on a laser projector. The fact that this is so feature packed and I just love Yeber projectors. I've been a big fan of this for a while and this is no exception. And for me, this being their latest flagship version, I can see why, because you can actually look right in this video demo, which I'll just take a little bit closer now, how great this actually looks. Now, of course, I'm recording this on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. So what I see and what you may see in the video might be two slightly different things, but hopefully this is giving you an idea of how clear and how great the quality is when you are watching content. The fan noise is actually very quiet. I've had a lot of projectors which are maybe double or triple the fan noise of this. I'm just gonna be very close to here as well. Let's see if you guys can actually hear the fan noise. It is very faint. I can barely hear it, and I'm pretty sure you guys won't be able to hear it that much. And I do have the video muted as well, so if I just put the volume up with a little background music coming from this video, you won't be able to hear any of the fan noise coming from the projector. So on the topic of audio, let's go ahead and now play a demo video which has really good sounds in there and see how the audio sounds with the two 10 watt JBL speakers inbuilt into this. Many, many hours and days of my childhood were spent exploring the forest around my house. It was my playground and background for every one of my imaginary worlds. It was a place of peace, comfort, adventure, science, and imagination. Besides my adventures, the forest provides even more important resources to every one of us. Clean oxygen, habitat for wildlife, clean groundwater, flood prevention, and many more. I'm still exploring the forests, but I found a different way to try to capture some of that magic through my camera. With filmmaking and photography, I'm trying to show a glimpse of the beauty of a place that needs protecting. I still spend most of my time exploring these wild places, and they've become even more important to me. While filming or camping, I try to leave no trace behind so that others can enjoy the beauty the same way I have. I try to never disturb the wildlife I'm filming, even if it might mean getting a better or easier shot. I've also been reducing the amount of distance that I'm traveling to work on projects and to calculate the carbon footprint of my shoots, including travel, and offset that through donations. I support the National Parks Foundation since those are my favorite places to explore and shoot. Forests have shaped much of my life and they provide many essential resources to the entire world. To me, their beauty alone makes them worth protecting. Now is the time to become a force for nature. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. So 
hopefully you heard the audio. Now, one thing I do say is that with the JBL speakers, I can really hear the punchiness in that audio, but I don't think it's loud enough to maybe fill your room with home cinematic sounds. I think it was a little bit quieter even at max volumes. A lot of projectors that I've used are much louder than this one, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue if you do use Bluetooth headphones maybe to watch content or you wanna connect it to a sound bar or any Bluetooth speakers, then you can really take the audio a little bit further. But that's just one thing I wanted to mention is that I wish it was a little bit louder just so I can get that full home cinema experience. But with everything else packed into this, you can just see how clear the quality is, the features that you get, everything that comes in the box. Overall, I think this is very, very good value for money. If you take a look at the description and check out the discount code and the links of where you can purchase this, I'm pretty sure you are going to agree that this is a very good deal. As always, if you do have any questions about the capabilities of this projector, then drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I have a whole bunch of projector reviews I've done in the past, so make sure to check out the full playlist if you'd like to take a look at that. As always, make sure to like this video, to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.